Hello everyone, my name's Dogly and I'm super excited to summon for Yai Amiko. Here I am on my third account, I figured this would be the best one to summon for Yai Amiko on. We're standing in front of the Yai Publishing House with only Sing Cho. And the reason for that is because there's a little bit of lore of him, you know, submitting light novels to um, Inazuma. So I think it'll be uh, a little bit of a good luck charm to have only Sing Cho in my party as my summoning ritual. I have about 13,000 Prima Gems and maybe like 20 Acquaint Fates or something. And my current pity is at 65. So without further ado, let's open up the wishing. Okay, so uh, with the new uh, maintenance patches and stuff, that took us up to 14,000 and 22 fates again we, our pity is 65 so there is a small chance that the first 10 pull is actually going to be gold uh i don't know if i'll win the 50 50 i'm hoping that i can win the 50 50 so that i can summon a little bit on the weapon banner overall the weapon banner i feel like is a little bit deceptive for those of you who are like really pulled in by yai's weapon keep in mind that her weapon here um, the Kagura's Verity is going to be really only good for Yai. It's not going to be great for other characters. And then the Primordial Jade Cutter. Keep in mind that that weapon is probably okay on like Kaching, um, maybe Chi Chi, maybe Bennett, maybe Sing Cho. But the Misplitter kind of outclasses it these days. Um, I think like Primordial Jade Cutter has the potential to work for future characters that come out. It's just they haven't come out yet, so it's hard to know for sure uh, know for sure exactly how that works. Um, but again, pity sixty five. Let's go for the first ten pull. I'm super excited. Let's get lucky, please. Oh, and it is gold. It is gold. So it might be that very last one. I'm guessing. One, two, three. Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm, I'm hoping we won the 50-50. I'm not... Oh. We lost the 50-50. We got Mona. So I think that's actually C1 Mona on this account. And I haven't raised her at all. Um, But hey, she came a little bit early, so... And then Sacrificial Bow, one, two, so we have two Pity now. Oof. Um, yeah, so we, I might not have enough to actually get a decent weapon for for Yai, um, because I don't have Wood Tith on this account. Um, but I could always just give her my Memory of Dust, I guess, as a, just a replacement. So, weapons aren't looking too good, but second ten pull, this will get us up to 12 pity. I'm just going to skip Toma. Okay. So, I, I really don't care too much about the four stars on this account, at least. All right. So, we're at 12, and we're going to go up to 22. And we'll just skip again. Diona, okay. Looking good. Up to 32. Always hoping that I can get it a little bit early. Lion's Roar. I think that's my first Lion's Roar on this account. Whoa, we got two Tomas. The funny thing is, so I had one Toma... Before I summoned on this banner, and now that means I'm already up to C3 Toma, which is more than on my account that I actually have Toma raised on. But look at that, we actually had four, five, um, excuse me, four four star characters, or four, ah, I can't talk. Four four star summons there, two weapons and two characters. All right. So that was that was 32. It got lost a little bit there with all the four stars. I think that was 32. So here is 42. 
We're under 10,000 now. <gasps> we got a Chung Yoon. Nice. I think that's the, my first Chung Yoon on this account. All right, I'll take the Chung Yoon. 52. Yeah, we're not going to have enough for a weapon summons. A Toma and a Diona. All right. Get in some nice constellations at least. I mean, I, I don't anticipate raising Toma, but who knows. All right. That was... Was that 52 already or was that 42? I'm losing track. Ah. Another Toma. I might actually get Toma maxed out here. Still nothing. Diona, though. There's a chance that I could raise Diona on this account. Alright, so we're going to switch to singles, though. Whoa! No, I skipped it, but it was a single. We got Yaimiko. Alright. That might have been, like, a little tiny bit early i don't know it's about where it should have been decent splash art there i like the kind of background with the sakura tree all right to summon or not to summon on the weapon banner you know what? i'm gonna just set the path the thing is i still don't have a decent weapon but I don't think that any of the four-star weapons are super valuable to me. I already have one Primordial Jade Cutter on this account from uh, back when Kokomi had her original run. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to pass on this weapon banner and I'll just temporarily give Yaimiko my memory of dust that my Ningguang is currently using because I probably won't be using... Yaimiko and Ningguang on the same team. But we got our first Chung Yun on this account, as we can see as he joined our party. And we got Yaimiko. My artifacts that I farmed for her aren't super amazing or anything like that. But overall, I'm definitely excited to see how she works. For now, I'll just pass her off with the five-star weapon and we got Yaimiko and we uh we still have a few Primo gems left again probably not enough to actually uh bother summoning on the weapon banner but maybe later in the patch if I really need another weapon I can try that out we'll see but I think that's a good place to end it. I wish you guys all the best of luck on your own summoning for Yaimiko or for anything else this patch. And I'll catch you guys later and I'll definitely try my best to raise Yaimiko. I have her materials and everything for leveling her up. It's just the talent material for the new boss. I'll have to spend a bit of time before I can really level up her talents all the way. Overall, I think Yaimiko seems like she's going to be a really interesting character based off of how her elemental skill works with her elemental burst, and I'm really excited to see how that works out. Again, best of luck to everyone here who's watching, and let me know how your summons went by commenting down below as well. Thanks again. Bye.